said that if you want to go fast, you go alone, but if you want to go far, you go with everybody. And everybody is who we intend to go with on the program this morning. It's a very lovely, beautiful Monday morning, September the 16th, 2024. And officially, it's the 256th edition of the show. So we're super happy, excited, and I'm grateful to be here today now I'll start the show properly by telling you guys that every day every single darn day about six feet is a good day so when you wake up in the morning don't just feel like you own yourself don't carry your phone and be pressing like oh maybe get down on your knees and say baba god good morning and um, thank you that i get to breathe the same air as a whole lot of people are because if you walk around um for example the Aton cemetery somewhere in yaba you would know that um a lot of rich people a lot of wealthy people a lot of sick people a lot of poor people everyone are together in one place they probably wished they would have lived longer but hey god has kept you so we'll be very grateful now um today monday promises to be super exciting as we have lots and loads for you guys today i am particularly excited because I'll keep that a secret. I'll be giving you all the information. Or maybe, I don't know why she's smiling this morning, but hey, um, somehow, somehow, somebody is welcome back on the show. I didn't miss her. <laughs> Not for one second because she gives me so much trouble. Um, but hey, uh, what thing we could do without women, if that's how you want to put it. This is What's Up on Galaxy Television, the program um, where we overreach for the stars. And trust me, we do so much on the show. Now, if you're tuned in for the first time, you ask yourself this question um what's what's the show all about now I'll tell you what's up we do lots we do movie reviews this is when we particularly pick movies that are supposed to come out or are about to be out at the box office or cinemas or youtube or netflix or prime or whatever it is and then we show them to you with the trailer or we give the trailer to you pardon me and then we always give ratings at the end of um each one from one to ten We'll tell you guys is this movie good is it bad can you watch it would you not we don't give um terrible reviews we just try our best to give you the best and that's what you go with now we also do celebrity gist now this kind of gist is for celebrity as the name implies so you see um talks about celebrity what they've been up to what they're doing if they have plans um, photo shoots album um, release parties whatever it is we talk about that we also do um, fashion and style this is when um, we'll talk about red carpet events what happened who wore what what they wore and who styled them all right we do that and then we'll make you guys understand what it means to have all those people um, come through for you also we do trending issues now this particular one has always put us in trouble and um, a couple of months ago we did trend a lot on social media for the kind of things we said we analyzed things here hmm but you know the media they will always take it out of proportion and they will blow it and um, you know people come for us my my dms were filled up that time with so much hate like you don't know me why are you saying all these things about me but i loved it anyway so i think we should do more of that and then the icing on the cake is when we do have a special guest appearance in the studio um to talk about their lives these are usually actors actresses um music artists secular and regular We've had artists, we've had artists, uh, we've had photographers, we've had um, videographers, all celebrity ones, um, we've had celebrity dancers, and um, we've had um, world record holders here, Guinness World Record holders too. In fact, we've had Grammy Award winners here. Um, El Walser was here a couple of weeks ago um, to tell you about his journey. He's a Grammy Award winner. This said, um, we've done it. This is WhatsApp. This is who we are. Now, um, he beats me because I always said we wanted a hype man on the show. And we had a hype man sometime on Friday, but oh, maybe he wasn't here. He hyped for real and he was dope. Um, but well, I'm, I'm planning on dragging someone else to come through so that oh, maybe he can have so much fun. Now, you know who I am on the show today. They call me Obi Nakene, but for some of you, you know me as Orali Baby. That's A U R A L W E. They call me the Vibes Machine. They call me the Radio Cubana for when I work on radio. They call me I'm the Big Size Teddy Bear. They also call me, listen, listen properly, Sugar Daddy of Lagos. So whenever you need money or anything, DM me, buzz me. I got you guys. I'll give you money now. I'll flex with you guys. <laughs> Try it. You receive or do as an answer anyway i don't get to run the show alone i'm not a liverpool fan i'm a chelsea fan all right i get to run the show one of the most exciting and electrifying women on 
national television. We call her the African Queen. Uh, I didn't miss her. I'm sure she can introduce herself. I didn't miss her, maybe. <laughs> He actually did. I did not. You actually did. I say I did not. Is it by, is it's it by, by thunder. <laughs> it's not by force. Oh my it's god. It's by thunder. Why wearing black? Thunder. At me? Yes, because this is how I just feel like like in this world. You asked me what I was gonna put on, so you wear the Get same. Get away. Thing. <laughs> Good morning, Lagos. Orally has missed me as much as I've missed him, but you know. No. Hmm. Oh my god. It's nice to be back. I've missed this moment. 10 to 11 a.m. Mondays yeah. to Friday. Oh, yeah. It's one of my best moments every day because I always look forward to it because we enjoy what we do here. So if you're doing something that you do not enjoy, you're actually wasting your time. True. So do what you love doing. Welcome. My name is Omevi Idola. You know, God. Know how to <laughs> yes, I'm back. Oh God! I am back. I'm super excited that I'm back. I'm seated. I'm back. I'm happy that I'm back. I'm just here and I'm back. There is nothing Orali can do about it. Hello. See the excitement that you see on Orali's face this morning. It is not because of Omevio. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh my God! If you saw the puzzle we have in the studio, yeah, this voilà. morning, God. So that is the puzzle that is making our release body to do like this. Not, not exactly, but hey, 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 oh, hey. Oh, oh. Well, uh, oh. I'm introducing myself. If you see the guest in the studio, you are Orally, the person. Uh, yeah. Hey, please. Orally has missed the way. I am trying mm, to bring him mm, back into the show. You can never bring hey, it back. Never. Because I want Orally, to love. Oh, shh. I will because lost. right now Rally has missed his way. Hey, we God. are trying to bring it back. He is confused. I, I because you lost. see the guests that we have. Hey Lord, you know I like it when we have fine girls and fine boys in the studio. But you always take the hey, guests away. Let me take the hey, please, man. I'm still talking. Hey, the well, person yeah. we have mm. is gang gang shows. He's looking <clears throat> he's looking ah. Uh. So right now, or at least on the road again. But before we we let the cat out of the bag. Or the bag out of the cat. Or the cat out of the bag. The bag out of the cat. Or the bag out of the cat. First of all, I just want to let you know that yes, Galaxy as a television station. If we are on the go right now, you just you can just download the Galaxy app on your iOS and every of your mobile devices, and you'll be able to watch us live and direct. And right now, WhatsApp, which is the most interesting program on Galaxy Television. Say it. Loud it. Loud it. <laughs> <laughs> is actually streaming live on facebook right now so you just go to your facebook page maybe you have access to your television set and someone there your colleague or someone doesn't have access so you just tell the person to go on facebook right now and search for galaxy television galaxy entertainment you know and you'll see us there you're gonna see my low cut pop up you know how we do it <laughs> so we are there and every other social media platform we are there and of course if you have the star time decoder you can watch us on channel 110 we are there live and uh, maybe you do not have internet you do not have a uh, a, a decoder you do not have anything you can still watch us from the comfort of your home or from anywhere via channel uhf 27 you know the one we talk about they don't show you never you never just uh, small <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, you know that one so you know the one we're talking about so you just go there channel 27 and of course you can go to different app is it a uh, oppo uh, uh, Ovo. Ovo, Ovo, we are there. So you just go there and you will catch up with every of our program. And of course, we are on YouTube. So, in case you missed out in any way, any of our episodes, editions, you can just go back and to watch all our programs. And of course, we have a whole lot, a whole lot of program packed together for your viewing pleasure. On that note, I want to say welcome again. Now, back the guests that we have <laughs> and to those human burns yes him who is seated or maybe in my i need to take my glasses off for this it's very evidential that you've missed me i can tell you know when you hugged me this morning you were so happy full of life 
You missed me. Did you not? Did I? Hmm. Orally. Someone told you me. You know what? If <laughs> someone told me you giraffe for your exam. I know. Funnily enough, I, I don't know. cheat. I don't cheat. I don't like a man that cheats. I saw you I like. No, I don't. <laughs> don't ask questions at the I'm either seated at the front row or just somewhere. First of all, we're not much in class. You know how messy are. Yes. So, so and I'm in class. We're not much. So it got to a point that the AC in the hall was too much. She understands what I'm saying. That I had to stand up and sir, I'm like, sir, I'm cold. You know what? Let me tell you how much my lecturers trust me. And I stood up and I'm like, sir, this is too much for me from this angle. And he said, okay, you don't know. Sit anywhere in the hall. So you sat where? I went to the very back seats. And they know. Where you, can carry um, um, uh, where you can that carry Umbo. Um, that is how much they what trusted me. So I can't betray all oh my you They trust you, I don't trust you. Mm. For all the things you have done to mm. me in this life. Mm. Irish, never to. That's how, this is, is that every student in lecture will tell, sit anywhere. You get What's it? the name of this lecturer? I need, uh, to, I need to tell the Oh, no, you right. need to know. Oh, Dr. Popola is there. Popola? Yes. He likes women. He likes Abby. women a lot. Uh, you need to know Dr. Shaibu. Of course, you have met Dr. Shaibu. I know Dr. Shaibu. You have met. Ah, so many of them. I can go on and go on and 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 I can go on and mention all my lecturers. They're amazing. Okay, people. so it's safe to say you did well in your exams. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I will be checking your. You, after this show, you give me your. Um, what's it called? Your matric number. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we do have someone very special in the studios this morning, but we'll not be making introductions just yet. Uh, we've just given you guys a small snippet of what we are all about. Let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll be meeting our special guest this morning. Don't go anywhere. Don't care what the movie says. <laughs> she said that. It's nothing you can do about it. Ladies and gentlemen, world Boys and girls. Ninja. Enemies and frenemies. Why? Why frenemies? <laughs> All of them. Friends. All of them are meant to be fans. Please, that's not best. Okay. Please. Please. Don't mind the maybe frenemies. But please, mm. you guys, help me welcome to the studio this morning. Mm. No, not that finger. Not that finger. It's your pink finger. Peace of mind. <laughs> <laughs> I want to welcome to the studio this morning, actress John Johnson. How are you? I'm fine. Be carried away. Some people be carried away with this show, but you see some people. No, why are you talking like this? I should not allow me to be carried away. When we have men in this studio, maybe I know I used to behave. You be loving them. How will you be asking? Uh, Let me sing for you. Mm -hmm. Big big things were like yeah. I I Bro, you cannot you can't speak for me. <laughs> you will not speak for me today. That's hey, hey, hey. 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 Frenemies. Frenemies. I know we say we should not talk. But you can come and get to maybe on this show. It's our problem. Anyway, quickly, um, ladies and gentlemen, let's tell you about who we do have in the studios this morning and um um, I'm sure you guys watch her movies a lot. Yeah. Uh, personally, I became a fan. Mm. An AC freezer <laughs> of her. So, um, quickly. Her name is, of course, Joanne Johnson, a.k.a. Jojo Bang. Very good. A.k.a. <laughs> 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 Jojo Bang. Now, of course, she's a professional Lagos-based actor, and uh, she's from Edo State. And of course, she grew up in Portacot. She started her career when she was in secondary school in Asaba, and then left and went to Portacot to start life before coming back to Lagos two years ago to chase what? Her At dreams. Career. Yeah. Now, Jojo, whose ambition and inspiration is to be one of the top most rated actors in Nigeria, and of course, the diaspora, so Niger, outside Niger, she won the top Olofuna. Good. Um, also, this is where I love the most. Mm. She loves cooking. Mm. Food. Oh my god. We'll be asking her questions on that. She loves cooking and also she's a professional pedicurist and um, she's featured in lots of movies like Friends from Hell, The Curve, Monica the Church Girl and so many much more. Despite being an actor, she craves and loves the private life. She has a strong passion for leadership and organizational transformation. She's a kind, strong, 
hardworking and resilient human who doesn't waver on her way of life. So this morning, help us welcome again to the studio, Jojo Benz. <laughs> Because I know this will be come. Yes. What do you like cooking the most? Rice. Rice. Rice and stew. Wow. Yeah. Um, cocotion rice and that about. How do you dice the cocotion rice? Um, there's this thing they call. Um, I don't know what name to use. Um, oguri. Do you know oguri? Yes, yes. I know. Oguri yes. Tea. For my cocotion rice, I use oguri. I use local fish. Oguri. Hmm. Hold on. Is it the 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 fermented one or the the seed? The seed the okay, one, yeah, the okay, seed one. okay. So I use um, local fish. Mm. You know those local fish that looks like bonga fish. They used ah. to have the fancy bone. They used oh. to have taste. Oh, mm. 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 Then mm. I will use um, ice fish. Mm. Mm. I used to have egg. Is it um, sardi? What they call that fish that has the egg? Titles. Yes. Titles. yes. So I use titles. I use vegetable. I use red oil. That's not concussion, right? That's rich. No, 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 like yeah <clears throat> when i'm not working i'm home i love to eat and i love to cook and watch people eat so i live alone thank you lord but i cook i have like um five neighbors whenever i'm cooking i cook for everybody oh yes i love it i, <laughs> I like to be that neighbor yes i but I you don't eat now excuse you sorry i love to see people eat my food wow no. yes mm, that's nice yeah. so let's go back to the beginning of the journey Wow. How did your career start? Your your acting career. What year? And what motivated you? I know I'm asking a, a chain question, but I just want to know how the whole career started. Okay. <clears throat> okay, first of all, I I've always wanted to be a superstar, an actor. That is exactly Mind just you, the way you are. Actor, an actor professionally describes both male and female. Okay, so I've always wanted to be an actor right from when I was a child. I used to talk to grasses, like I used to act to myself and talk to grass, you know, right from when I was small. So, you know, that means that you have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I lost my dad, I lost my dad at the age of seven. So, uh -huh. when I lost my dad, I was now I was staying with different people, so I yeah. didn't have. I didn't have the time to chase my dream. I was struggling to eat and survive. So finally, I started living with my grandfather in Okpanam, Asaba. Okay. So that was when a friend of mine took me to an audition in Zenet Hotel in Asaba. There's one mm. hotel in yeah. Zenet. So okay. I went there for auditions and I got picked. I did my first movie with Ungozi Zonu. Though it was like five scenes, but I was so happy. That was my first movie. So from there, I became friends with Regina Daniels. Then she was still we're still very young yeah. now i don't know if she would remember me but we we're really close back then mm. so that's how i started my career so i did one two movies my grandfather was not happy because then i didn't even have transport to go to locations from up to asaba mm. so i now stopped acting i met chinere fred i became her pa after my secondary school so she was giving me movie roles paying me ten thousand a month for being a personal assistant mm. So from there, I was getting small, small money, trying to take care of myself and my family. But I was not happy. I just wanted more. I wanted to be more. I wanted to be out there. So I left her house. I went to Port Harcourt. I started working. Then I left my career. So I worked for a lot of time, years. And I came back to my career in 2022 in Lagos. When I wanted to travel out, I was duped. I wanted to relocate to Canada. So I was duped. Mm -hmm. So I decided to come back to Lagos to pursue my career. Wow. Again. Yeah. Oh my God, that's it's that's a very telling long, story. Been a long journey. Hmm. Very long. Bro. A journey long. <laughs> I've not asked you how your own journey began, but that's that's something I will ask you. The day I will be your guest. Uh, you, <laughs> nothing where you no go tell me. I will ask you everything. Yes, um, you you came back to Lagos to start your career, restart your career as a woman, as a lady, a very beautiful one at that in the Nigerian movie entertainment industry. 
we're not going to ask you how has it been we're going to mm. ask you what the challenges are that you faced coming into this industry well i didn't really face any challenge the only challenge i, I know i faced was an opportunity nobody wanted to give an opportunity right but i didn't undergo sexual harassment mm. of any kind Yes, I'm beautiful. Actors come to me. It's normal. Like, yeah. it's normal. So, but so they, they do it politely. Like, hi, John, I like you. I love your vibes. Can you be my girlfriend? Can you be my friend? Like, it's not my choice to say, no, I'm interested. Yeah. And no, I'm not interested. So, I've not had any sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. But have you heard of sexual harassment in the industry? Yes, I've heard about it, but I've never experienced it. Hmm. All right. Now, um, we're going straight to, um, for example, we know that in acting, in music and the rest entertainment basically you have um, people come to say that they need to take hard drugs the yeah. abuse of substance you know I need to be high because if I know high I'm why don't you act this scene like this. <laughs> yeah. you know coming to the studio like me now someone like me that is normally high ah. on air <laughs> as I, I got break like you know high highness then you now say I should start taking extra I can't do ah. it. How do you think it's right for people to abuse substances and say it helps them? Does it does it help you guys act properly or does it give you extra morale on set? What does it do? Is it right? Mm, I don't know. I don't know for musicians, but for actors, I don't think we don't take any substance or anything. People smoke. Smoking is part of our job. Even when you go to film school, they'll tell you smoking is part of our job. True. You can smoke. You, you can smoke as long as you you do it responsibly. So I see people smoke. I know people smoke, but about the drug thing, I don't know. But most of the actors they smoke because of how it makes them feel. I don't think it gives them ginger to act because I think acting comes from inside, whether you are high or not. If you wake me up, I say action. I start to act. I don't mm -hmm. need to come my ass off. If I if I should ask for something before I can do it, that is not my calling. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So have we gone through uh, some phases in the creative industry and entertainment generally? How would you rate the the Nollywood industry today? You started twenty twenty two. You said yeah. You came back. You back. came back twenty twenty two. So you've been there for quite a while yeah then you took a break a step back and then you're back now now compared uh the time you returned and the time you were there how would you rate the industry right now i'm so proud of nollywood they've done so well they've improved i'm super proud the improvement in what area exactly um improvement in ten now before you can be an actor right professor you need to go to school you need to know some basic things. You can't just say I'm an actor. You need to be professional, right? So some people, most people go to school. I went to school, two schools for that matter. So you need to go to school, right? Now, we have more professional actors, more professional filmmakers, people that bring that money to shoot, mm -hmm. not people that manage resources to shoot. Okay. We have beautiful stories, beautiful mm -hmm. films now professional directors professional actors professional producers and this time if you are talented you will go nobody will harass you nobody can cover your shine mm -hmm. if you are talented it's easier you can easily become a star now okay uh, compared to, to you know now it's easy you can just become a star from anywhere now it's easier to you know to to, to bring yourself out now the quality the, okay the quality of movies that are being released into the market these days is alarming. True. Should I say quality or the quantity? quantity. First of all, uh, quality and quantity. Together. When you go to, to YouTube, you see all kinds of movies. Because I don't know because there's no regulation. And of course, there are some movies that uh, that some persons tell you it's a cinema movie, but in the real sense, it is not. They are not cinema movies. First of all, how do you rate a cinema movie? How do you know a movie is a cinema movie? And two, how do you, how do you, or how would you rate the kind of movies that are entering the market every day? Do you think it is they are good enough to be there on YouTube, or it is just all about the money making? So two questions, one and one. How do you know a cinema movie? A good cinema movie. Is, um, okay. Uh, first of all, if a cinema movie is to be produced, it starts from the process. 
okay. of the movie, right? It's a bigger production, so we have more cast. They spend more money on quality um, cameras, professional directors, you know. So um, they shoot these movies. They put all they put efforts to shoot these movies. Then they, um, I think the because me I don't I've done just one cinema movie right okay so I would say to know a good cinema movie is until you go to the cinema to watch it right so are you saying that uh, good quality cameras uh, money attention everything shouldn't go to a TV kind of film uh, well see we are producing what people want that's mm. the truth we are okay. producing what people want Yes, yeah. yeah. You see, go to YouTube, uh, you drop a movie 24 hours, 1 million views. Mm -hmm. So that's what people want. We're giving them what they want. Mm. Whether it's cinema, whether it's YouTube. Facebook is another word, do you know? Yes. They have a lot of stories. If you post before 24 hours, 10 million views, do you know? On Facebook. So people want, people love Nigeria actors and actresses, you know? So we give them what they want. Mm. That's just the truth. Okay. Huh. That's All right, cool. people love Nigerian actors and actresses now. She says um, she's had one or two challenges, but very little ones, and she hasn't been sexually harassed. That's that's a new one coming from someone like this. Uh, I felt like most of the actresses we've had here, the kind of stories they tell us. Yeah. So yeah. for her, maybe she carries a bodyguard and a gun to the to shoot sh sh uh, how do you call it to yes, set to her chest and not <laughs> yeah, no, 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 and no, she's no. like it's not, bad. More it's not that bad yeah because people have actually ah, it's really that bad because people have shared experiences and it is it is terrifying i remember messi yamu yes or, ah, there's a way she put it scripts and uh, script or bed script or bed choose one you mm -hmm. climb bed you collect scripts you reject script. You reject bed. Go outside. Go yes, you I reject. Have never experienced such. Never. I need to start shooting movies. I have, I have never experienced script or bed. Yes. I have never, never in industry. And you will not experience in Jesus' name. Because it is something Amen. that's very daunting. All right. Yes, we do have actress or actor, Joan Johnson, a.k.a. Jojo Beds in the studio. I'm sure you guys watch her movies a lot. She's been telling you about her journey into lamplight and how much she's been enjoying it uh, we've been having fun in the studios yeah. i am maybe by the way welcome back to you anyway we'll go on this quick break but we come back we still have jojo Benz, we have the delectable and electrifying or maybe a dollar and of course my humble self let's go on this quick break we'll be right back to the show um this is what's up on galaxy television now that part of the movie you just saw uh Joanne will be telling us exactly what happened there. Because from the look of things, what she has been telling us inside the studio. In that movie, mm. that was her friend's husband. And she was rubbing on his chest like this. Ah! Women will stay your whites. It's not even men. It's women now that will stay your whites. You know that that's your friend's husband. And you still went there. The one. Please, this movie. What was the title? A friend from hell. Hey! Ah! Oh, salo, bro. Hey, hey, I said this. A friend from hell. You know, from the way she entered, from the you know the moment the camera was opened on her, and the guy said you can come in, and the way she was doing the body like this, so, I knew that that journey was a journey from hell. So why were you fighting when I say what ended the journey? What ended the journey? <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> really guys so i was actually deceiving my friend telling her that her husband might be sleeping with different girls hey! so i was the one train myself at jesus man, jesus you know mm. no you know you know and you know so i had um, a boyfriend in the movie who was poor and i didn't want him around i wanted rich guys so the guy used my character for ritual wow yes now, uh, okay so your friend the your character's friend. friend's husband right yeah used your character no okay the i was poor lost, boy yes i was lost over my friend's husband i wanted to sleep with him but he was avoiding me at the same time i had a boyfriend who was in love with me but he was broke so i didn't want to have anything to do with him so he ha had to push him into doing oh, money ritual yeah. and, and he now used me my character <laughs> <laughs> Hey, BC, be careful. A friend from hell. They should go and watch it. 
Yeah. Because I it, it like... It sounds so... The name is a catchy. Mm. You get it. And do you know that these are the things that are happening in Nigeria? Irreward. Ir it is not a lie. It is what's going on. <laughs> the other day there was um, um, this, this man in um, somewhere in Agudu, uh, Ijibo area. A 16-year-old a boy brought his friend to a baba that he wants the baba to use the friend so that he can have money. Can you imagine? They brought two of them and they flogged them. Like, like I go, be, like <laughs> they go two of, time two to of you together. They like they flogged two of them. Oh God, Jojo Benz. Mm. Jojo Benz. <laughs> no good day. I <laughs> know the What to know the Jojo Benz? <laughs> the name. <laughs> ah. Please. How was it coined? Okay. <coughs> How did you come? Ah, yes, ask too many questions. Ah, <laughs> it's our job. <laughs> that is why we are here. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was what as you know. Not say no. That is that. Do you remember there was one year that they were using women's pants for yeah. money? Do you remember that year? Yeah. Yeah. So that year I was selling on this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Did I say mm -hmm. do do bend? See the mm -hmm. one pant, one bend. <laughs> Yeah, I like something. So that's how the Jojo Benz came around. Ah, that was Jojo was selling Benz mm -hmm. in you know a what? pants form, in a an underwear form. My yeah, I can't remember. Such oh, anymore. underwear. Sorry. No, when that mm -hmm. remember. Mm -hmm. eh? Nothing. You, you see, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are shameless. I'm no, I didn't say me. Did you hear me say? I heard you. I said nothing. Nothing. Jojo, see, mm -hmm. let's let don't mind that. When you are not working, mm, we always say first off you need to take care of yourself, yeah. your health. How do you manage your health? Because Jojo was telling me this morning of her work routine, and trust me, it's cumbersome. Oh. So how do you when you are not cooking for those five? By the way, all of you in that we are for that are eating free food or money that you know. See, I'm beefing every single one of you in the house. Jojo's, <laughs> mean, Jojo's housemates. Ah, you're Jojo's compound people. My neighbors. No, listen. Or I think not me. They, they think I play. I he don't play with food. He, he so this, I'm taking it very personal right now. <laughs> when you're not working, um, how do you unwind? That's number one. Number two, tell us about your health routine. Yeah. Okay, which one should I start with? Okay, when I'm not working, most of I go to the beach. Okay. Oh, yes. If I'm not home, I love to read, love stories. So I'm at the beach listening to music with my JBL, reading my book, sipping alcohol, or I'll be home cooking, resting, watching movies. I love watching movies. Mm. Yes. I don't really go out, just home or the beach. Mm. So, I like, I like. And your health? Health. <clears throat> it's been long I did a general checkup. Like I did general checkup last year, but I drink a lot of water. I try to sleep enough when I can. I do exercises, I eat healthy, and I take a lot of fruits. I think that will help. You know you're a beautiful girl. Yes, I am. And highly endowed. <laughs> what is the meaning of Excuse that? Excuse you. How do you cope with your male fans? Like the ones seated opposite me. I'm not a male fan, I'm a celebrity. I have a problem. Mm. There's a difference. Because you can never show me know them. in this studio. I know them, especially the one Sit <laughs> 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 down. You know they use I. <laughs> when you see women, I want to wear like my glasses to remove evil from my sight. <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> you can never catch me. How do you cope? <laughs> How do you cope with those kind of men? Why are you using me as an example? You are doing me like this. I'm this only kind of giving men. an instance. Why are you pointing? They always come. There's Kayo Day in the studio. Couldn't you have pointed? Ah, I know. Me? Okay, uh, Mr. Kayo Day is married. Oh, what about our HOD? Yeah, our HOD says she's hot too now. Let's be dragging everybody out. See if you want to catch. <laughs> yes, I, I will see everything <laughs> outside. Hey, you guys are just. Hey! You will see. You will pay fine. <laughs> How? <laughs> how do you come with that? Because uh, if I have a problem, the problem is, that's how my eyes are. Mm. My eyes are deceiving. Uh. It's a problem. I might not really, I might not really be into them or attract. But my, that's how my eyes are. When I'm talking to you, there's one sexy eye. Oh my okay, you think I am not a girl or what? You will see, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Look at me. No, like, 
you don't understand. I'm very friendly. I do. Then. So when I'm trying I to do. play the little, uh, they want to see it as green. Like, no, it's, it's not green, it's red. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. You know? It's not green. It's yeah. red. And then don't be deceived. What you are seeing is red. But, no, 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 no. no. Are you speaking for? His is not red. Ah! 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 See, see, see. Try today. <laughs> Until next week Tuesday. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Oh, tonight I'm warning you on this show. Next week Tuesday, that's why you can talk to me. Why are you spoiling yeah. by this no, thing like this? Some yeah. persons will, will stop talking to you. Yeah. Some will not give you money if you refuse them. Yeah. Some will not ask you anything if you refuse them. So it's not easy. <laughs> but ooh, I don't care. We know the money is going to come. Yeah. It's not going to come. How's your money? money. All right. Right. Hello. As, as we round up the show, um, give your fans all right, words of motivation and encouragement. Yes, my best friend told me that I will never make it. I can't mm. be a star. She said my 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 talent or my whatever lies in fashion. Several of my friends will believe acting is not your calling, but I'm here today. So do not listen to anybody. Mm. Mm. If you know that this is what you want to be, forward and backward never. Mm. Mm. And if you are if you are if you are coming up, you want to be an actor. Have this mindset of we die here. That's yeah. the only way you can make it. You're going back. Yes. Oh, wow, I love That's that. business. Give us your social media handles so that your fans can follow you ASAP. Hey, okay. On my IG, my Instagram handle is official underscore Joan Johnson. On my TikTok, Joan Johnson 98. On my Facebook, Jojo's TV. Jojo's TV. What happened to Jojo? <laughs> what happened to Jojo Benz? I did you. I want to use that name when I buy a Benz. Mm. I'll say Jojo Benz now has a Benz. <laughs> so that name will be ready for When you say Jojo Benz, no Benz. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. The steals will reduce. Yeah, yeah. Well. You understand? A fake, a fake life. life. So living when the Benz is, is, is packed, you say yeah. Jojo Benz now has a Benz. So yeah. it's all is. It's only for some of us that we know the origin of Jojo Benz. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> hey! <laughs> they are finished me size studio today. <laughs> But God pass them. Mm. They are trying to wound me left, right, center, but I maintain ah, steers and left. Right. I'm not wounding you from the right. Easy yeah. people. Ah. I know what both of you people want to do. You want to not collab, but God pass two of you inside the studio. Anyway, um, Jojo Benz, aka John Johnson, the actor, says that you have to be strong, you have to be hardworking, rather, you have to be resilient. She used the words we die here yeah. a lot of you um you want to start up something in your life and then some people come to you and tell you you can't make it just like her best friend said a uh, couple of years ago but hey she has two years ago right? two years ago wow. look at her now this is the story that has been rewritten and she's doing so exceptionally well for herself um want to say thank you so much for coming to the studios this morning thank you. we had so much fun yeah, we but maybe had the most fun she she asked the most questions because she wanted to jilly but god pass me i actually love her earrings i oh. wish i wish she would give it to me you know mm. she has the earring i will not tell you the origin of the earring <laughs> oh you know the, how, how come uh, you know the, the your own is origin of lingerie our <laughs> own or maybe it gives me too much trouble in this studio i'm telling you people but hey they say behind in front of beside on top of a very successful, successful man and uh, you should have one she should stop wearing black but that's how it is anyway we've had so much fun with jojo and um we are so excited to have her in the studio we hope when we're calling you next time okay. you come through and if there's any movie part for winch please carry your movie away <laughs> that's where we'll go on this quick break when we come back Yes, it will be time for celebrity. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I just want to wait. Back to the show. This is time for celebrity gist. Um, for those of you who are just tuned in, I'm sorry you've missed so much of the good stuff. But hey, you can go back on Facebook and on YouTube. Just put in Agati Television Entertainment and voila, you can get to watch or we watch the show again. We'll go straight to celebrity gist. Yeah, we'll have the first one, yeah, yes? yeah, yeah. The very first story here is uh, Priscilla Ojo features in Fiance's music video for Lulu Femme. Yeah, we are, uh, we've been hearing the story how Priscilla Ojo, the daughter of of course, the beautiful Yabojo, who just got engaged to her hard trial. What's his name like, again? Uh, what's his name again? Is he uh, one Tanzanian? Yeah, yeah, the Tanzanian musician. Is it Jomas or what's his name? 
Yeah, so you know that right now they've been training on social media. They've been doing a whole lot, a whole lot. I had a whole lot, of course, to show their love for each other. I remember when she landed in uh, Tanzania, how uh, the guys fans came to welcome her. So it was such a beautiful uh, sight to behold. And this time, the guy actually wrote a song. So the music video, we, uh, he said that, yes, the song is for both of them, which is beautiful enough. A big congratulations to them. And I really pray their love works stronger. But I really want to. This is my stand. They should turn it down on social media. Mm -hmm. You see, first of all, for the fact that her mother is a celebrity, has made her a celebrity already, now you're not married to another celebrity. And like I believe, and I still maintain that, if you want your relationship to stand the test of time, like to be... To, to stay strong, just help your life, take your relationship away from social media, or you turn it down to a very large extent. Because you see all these social media in-laws, they don't wish you well. So, but big congrats to her. Yes. All right. Um, I don't do what people expect. Rema shares the motivation behind his um, H-E-I-S, Hayes. And um, let me tell you something, Rema, um, known as Divine, Divine rather, Okubo, yeah. um, started basically in 2018. A lot of people didn't give him the chance. They yeah. said he sounded, he had only one sound. He was just, they stereotyped him. But hey, today, um, he has come to tell you guys that what you expect of him, where you think he's going to fall short, he actually surpasses it. And that's what his life and his lifestyle is all about. Now, um, you can tell from um, the kind of stages he has graced. Yeah kind of shows his heart and now that's that's when he was talking about being big part of the big four in yeah. Afrobeat. So there's David O, there's Whiskid, there's Bonner Boy and now there's Rema. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Well I used to trade my scripts for Fim Rose. That's actress Umuni Ubuli. Yeah, the youngest grandma in town. A very big congratulations to her once again, yes. You know Omoni Obole is someone that I have loved from the very day I watched her on screen. She she is good at delivery. She is good at her script. And right now, be, being a director, she is doing well. When you go back to watch uh, Wives on Strike from uh, season one to I think the third uh, season is out now. You will know that yes, Omoni Obole knows her own and she knows what she is doing. Now, when people are rising. Just like our guest in the studio, just like most people, actors and actresses, they do a whole lot to get there. Because at the very beginning, no one tends to believe in you. So this, that was Omoni's experience as well. And I think, uh, what's his name again? Uh, already reminds me, our, what's his name again? Oh, this guy. Which one? Uh, Rambo, what's his name? His real name. Rambo. Yeah, the um, Rambo. Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. The same thing happened to him. No one believed in him. He wrote those scripts. You know, they were like, no, the script will sell, the script will go. So he actually, those scripts, the, uh, the Rambo, the, all the seasons of Rambo, there's something he did. He wrote the script, took it to them, and told them, don't pay me. Let me just play the lead role, which is Rambo. You understand? That was how Sylvester Stallone started. So he wasn't paid for those rules but today if you are bringing Sylvester Stalin into your your movies you know what you're gonna do that is exactly Muni Ogoli's experience okay I'll give you my script just give me a role so people have experiences people grow so no matter the little beginning you know that you should just be focused just like I guess it know where you're going all right all right the last one says X cross gender Gregory Obed Obed reveals how Jesus changed his life Jesus will not change your life before continuing <laughs> your sin. Hmm? Da, da. He has changed, and to God be the glory. These are the kind of stories you want to hear, and these it, are the kind of stories that should fly, actually. Mm -hmm. A fashion stylist and former cross dresser <laughs> has shared his journey of faith um, and transformation. And we hope someone else uh, copies from you. Maybe he get what's in your eye, don't see will make you change and that's that's evidential in the kind of lifestyle you live and so he's come out to say oh my, that life wasn't or well, isn't yeah. for me now um in a video he showed a photo of himself 
in a dress and makeup after finding Jesus, he posted another photo in a male outfit. Yeah. Um, on his Instagram story, um, Gregory basically talked about his past love for fashion, but mentioned that he's now focused on being an event planner and fashion stylist. So we are very happy for you, Gringory. Sorry, Gregory, um, that your life has changed. You've seen um, it's not just the cross dressing there were other things involved mm -hmm, with cross-dressing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because anybody can cross-dress it depends on your lifestyle yeah. a lot of people do that for movie roles or for skits yeah all right but yeah. you um there were some undertones there were things you did and um, you're not very proud of them but you're out now to say hey i'm giving my life to christ let's hope that you don't go back to those no 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 he's not gonna go back because i you, are you his mother he is or not is that go back because he is not gonna let he's not gonna let good jesus are you sure? Yeah. All these people we are in pink up and I fear them all. <laughs> anyway, that much we can take on the show. Big congratulations rather to Gregory and everyone. Um Priscilla Ojo. Yeah. Um, you guys have done well for yourself. Also, Rema, bless God for each and every one of you's life. This is where we call it. Yes, we have to say our goodbye. Yeah, very big thank you again to I would love calling her Juju Benz because I really want to see your drive and that Benz. Oh, my baby is soon. I pray to get a Benz so my name can compliment. Yeah. What Should kind of Benz? A G-Wagon or a GLK? No, no, not in two. Those AMG. GLK is okay. Oh, yeah. fits your profile. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. You can right. get it. You go really jam people for real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. And I believe that next you. time we'll call on you, you're going to honor okay. our invitation as usual. Thank you for yeah, having me. Yes, a very big thank you to all our fans. Thank you to those who looked out for me. I'll be fine. And I'm still fine. A very big thank you to... <laughs> To the team, thank you for holding it down. And to my Puchu Puchu, my Sherry Coco, my Sugar Daddy of Lagos, the big size teddy bear himself, or Ali. I not get money to give you yes, all right. these sweet, sweet names you are calling me. Big size teddy bear. It's not end of the month. Salary of no hectare. I don't have money to <laughs> My name is Omevi Dola across our social media platform. Omevi is O M E V I Dola is I D O L O R. Just write it together and you're going to see my look cut pop up. Like we say from the studio, we love you, but you should love yourself more. Bye for now. All right, drink water, mind the business that concerns you. Do not ever turn off someone else's light bulb because you want yours to shine the brightest every day. Above six feet is a good day. Follow me on Instagram at official underscore or Ali. That's A U R A L W E. On Twitter, it's at Karel Wing. So K A R E L W Y N E. Follow me, like, share, whatever I got on there, and I will follow you back. All right, now um, show love to people around you, even if they are not deserving of it. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, same time, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Of course, it's a show that runs Monday to Friday. Have an amazing week and day ahead. God bless you. Much love and light. Bless.